So the radio is plugged in. I use my uh, Bofeng UV5R Plus cable, uh, which uh, seems to work fine. Uh, I read in some other uh, place that uh, they don't all work, so you might want to get the uh, TYT cable. Um, so of course the radio is the uh, MD680, and uh, it is plugged in. Now I will go to device here and set the port which is COM5 and I will click on a read from radio it's pretty quick uh, there isn't uh, a whole lot of memory in this radio okay uh, now we go to basic settings uh, basic information uh, some junk here I don't care about that setting okay radio ID you need an ID uh, for your radio if you're going to use it on the amateur band so I got uh, mine here from uh, dmr-mark.net okay basic attributes uh, voice switch English zone 1 I don't know what all this is for but battery save uh, I didn't uh, use the option but it's there password setting apparently uh, you should be able to use the um, channel selector for uh, password I'm not sure if that's the case but I'm not going to try that because I don't want to lock my radio uh, analog squelch level level 2 <coughs> goes up to 10 2 seems to, to work fine and uh, that's it uh, microphone setting vox I don't use vox I don't care uh, PTT to cancel vox that's just if you use it key setting that's more interesting um, you have two buttons button 2 and button 1 button 2 is the uh, top button above the uh, PTT uh, button and button 1 is the uh, one below it so here we have the long press which is set to one second of the short press which is just a short press. Here I have a zone selection set for button one, uh, the lower button, so if you hold the button for one second it switches from zone one to zone two. You can choose between a monitor analog, permanent monitor, encryption, this radio does encryption. Zone selection, that's what I use, air uh, BER, <laughs> speaking French, BER test, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, high and low power between 6 and 10 watts, repeater talk around, I don't exactly know what that is. Uh, someone could uh, comment below, that'd be great. The uh, 17 and 50 hertz tone, uh, which uh, I use actually on the uh, long press for the button, right here same options we have here the same options for the short press here I have for um, uh, actually uh, I have a permanent monitor for a uh, button one for the short press and on button two the top button I have high and low power you uh, do see those buttons being used in uh, my uh, presentation uh, video so once you fill all that up, uh, you can close this. Uh, the next step, I will call it really step one, is to go to contacts and click on digital contacts. Okay, these are, are your groups. So basically, talk group nine is local. So most repeaters, if you set if you use the top group 9 uh, it will be local communications only uh, here 2350 is the UK, France is 208, world is 1 Europe is 2, uh, French worldwide 11 French Europe 21 and Belgium uh, and oh what was that, North uh, yes so you set up your um, 
your talk groups and here you set it as group call otherwise you could have individual call uh, or all call that's if you program the radios for uh, mostly uh, commercial use or uh, use between uh, between radios without using uh, the uh, DMR net uh, DMR mark uh, uh, talk groups I know this all doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now if you haven't uh, really uh, looked into it but uh, believe me it's not very complicated once you uh, have set your talk groups you will go to rx group lists here i have set mark mrc for stands for uh, dmr mark of course and i have local uk france world europe french worldwide french europe and belgium north uh, when you create a new one in contact here it is added to the left column which is the available groups and then you have to switch them over click on this button here to move them over to uh, the actual uh, you know put them in use basically the third step is to go to zone setting we have two zones of 16 channels zone 1 here I have um, 16 channels, uh, 16 channel programmed. Uh, one and two is the same one. Uh, ton of Lille, the repeater, analog. Then I have digital channels. You can get more information of the on the uh, digital channels by clicking on more, and that's where you set up uh, the name for the channel, your color code goes up to 15 uh, it's usually one or two or something like that the slot now I believe the slot here for the software is time slot it should be time slot 1 and 2 but we only have 0 and 1 I believe slot 1 means time slot uh, I, I'm sorry I believe slot 0 means time slot 1 and slot 1 means time slot 2 now again if someone uh, knows any different uh, please let me know okay uh, default to talk around I don't know what that is uh, X only is receive only of course here are the information we uh, entered previously we have encryption here and we can choose between uh, different encryption keys which I have set up just in case I'm not going to use it but actually uh, leave it off it's illegal to encrypt communications on the amateur band so a TX setting of course frequency uh, that's uh, here you set up your talk group so this one is set to France transmit power low um, in core criteria allow transmitting of course I'm not sure what following transmit means. Uh, transmit authority, uh, so you have polite to all, impolite or polite to color code, which is what I use and what is, uh, I think, uh, suggested. Time, uh, timeout, timer, uh, I'm not sure what this timeout is for, but maybe if you leave the button pressed and you don't uh, get connected to the repeater possibly and that's it uh, nothing else to it uh, I have a quick look here at the encryption see you have uh, 10 different keys which are random down I'm gonna have to delete my keys now and put new keys in because <laughs> you saw them uh, I'll do that later so here it is and uh, you can save it of course and you can send it back to the radio which is not going to do because it's, it's already in there and that's it programming the uh, MD680 it's uh, pretty simple once you know uh, what the talk group and the uh, time slot and color codes are um, that's all you need to know really um, and this concludes our little presentation of uh, the uh, programming software for the MD680.
Till next time, have a good night.